What's up? So preview of the project. Battery, no voltmeter. You just hook it up to what's called a galvameter. Check this out. Look at that. 1.5 volts. Boom. Boom. Stick them up. Just kidding. All right. I know you guys have never seen a Western movie, but you probably should see The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. I'm not even kidding. That's the title of the movie. It's amazing. All right. Da -da -da -da. Wah, wah, wah. Anyway, you don't even know what I'm talking about. All right. So this is clearly for my students, but if you're not one of my students, you could be one of my students by just trying this experiment. Did you ever want to measure how much voltage is in a battery or whether it even has any power left, but you don't have one of these and you don't have a power supply, you just want to try it out. You can literally use a magnet from the kitchen, toilet paper roll, some wire, you could take it off a USB cable or some wire that you have. It sort of doesn't really matter that much. It's not really critical. And then you hover the magnet over inside the coil. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to get it close to the wall, and I know you can't see that, that's why I got this second camera shot, and I'm going to show you what it looks like when we hook up a battery. Now this will be the initial test. I'll be honest, it doesn't work that well yet, but we're going to make some changes as we go. So you can see I got the magnet hanging there. It's literally just cardboard and string, okay? Now when I take this and I touch it, you notice that it moves. Now, I know you're thinking, well, you know, like, didn't you just move it by touching the wire? Let me get it close to the edge. It'll actually pull it in. You see that? Look, that's from me. Ready? There. On. Off. This is not working. There. See, it moves away. Yeah, that's the other thing you got to figure out is, is your battery good? Well, you guys at home can't figure this out but I gotta start at some sort of baseline okay so let's just see all right it's it's pretty weak it's 1.3 it should be 1.5 it's almost 1.4 that's okay this is what we're gonna do I'm gonna use the power supply just to prove the point and I think that and I got it set to like one amp so that's sort of like what that battery will put out ready Saw that? Okay. This is awful. There. It bounces on the wall. Okay. All right. So, now, that was a terrible demonstration. Okay? That's the reality of it. That's horrible. So, I think there's something wrong with my configuration, right? I've got the magnet facing sort of like flat here. So, that means... One side's north, one side's south, right? I don't know which side, but this is not going to work. So the second thing I thought of was, what if the magnet was facing sideways, like this, right? So I just put the magnet on there. Just hang it. Now this one, I already tried this before. This one will give a violent swing. It, it jumped. One, two, three. Look at that. It's like it's alive. Look at that. I'm just jumping it around. Ready? Stable, stable, jump, stable, jump. Okay. So that is like a result. You know, that's a result. But the problem is it doesn't measure anything, right? So we can actually do that with the battery, even though it's in a weakened state. So I'll remove my cheating device. This is a pretend battery, right? And I'll actually put the battery in place. See it moving around? Look, it's like it's alive. It looks like a fish, right? It's crazy. Ready? Check this out. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's crazy. Okay. Now, that's great and all, but how much is in there, you know? So the problem now is how to make an indicator, right? So when it pulls that magnet, if, if, it, if there's a, you know, like let's say we have a straw, and the magnet's on the bottom of the straw, and then there's a, like a, a pivot point. It'll swing it, and then we can actually say, oh, if it goes over here, it's 1.5. If it goes over here, it's 1.3. So we can mark it. This is not easy to do. That's the challenge, all right? 
So if you think you're ready to jump in this, go ahead. But if you want to see how I do it, you're going to have to stay tuned, all right? So let's, let's get busy. I got some scissors. We're going to cut some stuff. We're going to measure some stuff. I'm going to draw some stuff. And uh, hopefully it won't catch anything on fire. No, no, just kidding. And no electricity from the wall. And, you know, just use a battery, all right? And just household stuff. All right, so let's get to it. Can you hear that? <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I didn't even explain. You know, the main thing is that you just take a wire and wrap a coil. Did I explain that part? I don't even know. So the way the coil works is it literally just, you just wrap it around. You see? All that is is just one wire that's been wrapped. See? It's just one wire that's been wrapped around. And then I literally just take tape and I put it on there. There you go. Try not to jam your finger, but I'm just gonna pierce it. This is just like a, like a nail. You could use pretty much anything. I'm gonna cut the straw. That's my idea. The straw is the bearing. Now what's a bearing? Bearing's like a, it's an axle. Wheel and axle, right? Oh, so put the bearing inside first. All right, that looks pretty good. See what's going on here? All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get an indicator going. I'm gonna steal this from here. Yeah, hopefully this will work. I think it's gonna work. All right, so I have to first tape the magnet to the end of the, of the indicator. Let's just wrap it up, keeping with the same direction. I'm gonna tape my and tape this little straw. Now this is not gonna work perfectly. It's just an attempt. We're just trying it out. A lot of people get caught up in perfection. This is truly really just a just to try it out, you know. It's kind of cool that you don't need a a voltmeter. I think she's ready. That's gonna swing. Now let's let's place this in. Oh my god, that's gonna work. What? Dude, you gotta be kidding me. I think this is actually... All right, let's take a look. All right, so it swings around. Wow, there's no friction at all. Now you see that, the amount of the swing? We're gonna mark that on a cardboard in a second, but let's just try it out first. I guess it's moving because i am got my elbows on the table. Or maybe there's an earthquake. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Nice. Perfect. Okay. All right. So I'm going to apply uh, electricity and uh, see what happens. Nothing. What's happening? <laughs> oh, it's too low. It's lower. Okay. 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 This has to be higher. It has to be here. That makes sense, right? Okay. All right, so failure's a chance to learn, right? I messed up and I put the weight of the of the uh, the magnet was not in the coil. Remember you're wrapping a wire around. Wrap the wire around, okay? All right. All right, so it's in the zone. Now it's in the zone, hopefully. All right, we're going to try this again. Here we go, ready? It works, look at that. It does work. It's kind of swinging around, but it, it gets into a zone. It like kind of pulls it. All right, I mean, it moves a little bit. Let's see what it does when we put some, you know, backed up power. Okay, ready? It sort of stabilizes it. I think it's still too low, to be honest. I think it's too low. I'm gonna flip it over and use the advantage of the other side, the longer side. Yeah. All right, learning failure is a chance to learn. All right, so let's let's keep it rolling. All right. I'm gonna flip it over. Yeah, this is much better. It should hang right in there, right 
there. Okay, let's try, let's try that. Try not to poke your finger. There. All right, let's try that, ready? It moves it, but it doesn't like, there's no like indication, ready? See, the problem is it's like swinging around. Even if I leave it hooked up and try and stabilize it. And then when I let go, it's going to go back. It's such a slight movement. Damn. Hmm. It does jump around. You can get it to jump, but you can't get it to stay. Why is that? Let's try this. I'm going to I'm going to do this. I'm actually going to squash it so it's like an oval. So it's closer to the coil. Let's see what happens now. Hmm. It moves. It does move, but it's really a slight amount. Now what happens if I increase it? Oh, there. Oh, look at that. Are you seeing that? I can I can actually dictate where it goes. Less, all the way, less, all the way, less. That's actually pretty cool. But you can't do that with the battery at home. That, I, I'm cheating because I have this. So here's what I'm thinking. What if we use a small movement, extend it longer, and it turns into a bigger movement? It's the only thing I could think of. What do you think? All right. So what I'm going to do is, instead of having a little piece of cardboard, maybe I'll use the entire piece of, uh, yeah, of, of I'll just tape it up like this. And then I'll put the cardboard here. Oh, why don't I just go like this? Oh my god, that was so easy. Wow. Alright, let's do it now. Okay, let's, are we rolling? Alright, check this out. You ready? Whoa, that's so much better. <laughs> that's legit. Dude, are you kidding me? Okay, so let, let's try it just with um, the battery now, which is kind of weak already, but it should. It works. It totally works. Look at that. That is awesome. All right, we're there. We are there. All right. Woo. Oh, I wasn't sure if this was going to work, okay? <laughs> so, all right. No excuses. This is a straw. A piece of cardboard, tape, a kitchen magnet, get the wire from somewhere, okay, USB, tape, and a battery, and a nail. Now, maybe it doesn't have to be an oval anymore, because that was my idea. Maybe it'll still work, even, let's see, let's try it out. Yeah, it totally works. You don't need an oval. Oh, yeah. Look, this is straight out of, like middle school right here okay so let's just see what the arc is all right we're just gonna max it out and then i'm gonna draw in a second but i gotta figure out where this is gonna go and how to attach it okay so i'm just gonna cut one there one there this is like this is super high tech you know i mean like this is what nasa does no you know but you gotta start somewhere and you know this is just basically to learn Okay, I will cut those off. Patoon, patoon. Okay. Ha ha ha! Dude, what? Oh yeah, we got. I, there's a there's a camera person here that's watching me suffer. That knows more than I do. This is kind of cool. It's like, it's fun, you know? Like, you get to learn about electricity and it's great. All right, yeah. Okay, let's test it out. So much better. You know, if you work with a friend or family or something, it's just so much fun because it's just, you're like in the discovery process. Ready? Oh, yeah. Dude, that is cool. All right, so. Let us mark this thing i'll lay it down all right ready there we go to to calibrate all right calibration 
Calibration time. Okay, so real simple. Middle is zero. This is plus, it's close to 1.5, close enough. All right, I'm not looking for perfection here. And this will be negative 1.5 if you reverse it. All right, so here we go. You got your battery there. Boom, 1.5, and if you reverse it, there it is. Ooh, that one's a little harder to get to, but it's there. Good enough for me. That is your challenge. Try and make a galvometer, all right? Now, just to play around, let's do this. Oh, look at that. Look at that, it takes a lot. It takes like five amps to get up there. Wow, that's a lot. All right, let's reverse it. Interesting. So that that um, battery's putting out more. It's putting out more than... Uh... So you can write down 1.5 or you can put in the amps. But I know you don't have a machine like this. It's not perfectly matched from left to right or whatever. It takes... To max it out on this side, it takes five, so it's not perfectly balanced, right? But it is pretty cool. It's fun. What a cool thing. This is, I'll be honest, I, you know, I had no idea. What a cool thing. And then what's fun is like when you're done, you could kind of put it on the shelf and be like, yeah, that was the day I made a galvometer and measured uh, voltage without, without a, and I'll just do a, you know, Mr. G. Yeah. Okay. All right, thanks for tuning in. I'm Mr. G. You're my students, have fun, and I wanna see your projects, all right? And make, you gotta make a video. Okay, here's the requirements. You gotta take a before shot. You gotta take four shots, start, First attempt, second attempt, end, four shots, and a one minute video of it working, okay? And even if it doesn't, just show your failure, it's okay. All right, thanks for tuning in. I'm Mr. G, see you later.